What's up guys, welcome back to Michael Core Fitness. In this episode, I wanna talk about the number one trick to eating enough to gain mass. If we haven't met, my name is Mike McCord, and over the last five years, I've managed to put on about 50 pounds of muscle. It's always been a struggle for me to hold my mass. I was 139 pounds my senior year of high school. Besides packing on the muscle, my fitness journey has also helped me walk away from countless addictions, drawn me closer to my creator, and developed my overall character and wellness. I've dedicated this channel to my fellow lifters who have trouble putting on mass. If you think you could benefit from my advice, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit like. So in essence, my number one trick to eating enough to gain mass is you are going to have to figure out what exactly a caloric surplus looks like for you. I understand that that can sound a little bit vague, but caloric deficit and surplus is different for every person. This is going to be the key to you figuring out exactly what it takes for you to put on mass. You got to understand that you can do this one of two ways. You can use a calorie counter basically or the previously defined notions of what it takes to gain mass. Um, we're talking about 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight. The average American diet being 2,000 calories or, you know, they say for women you should be a 1,600. There's, there's a lot of general terms. Or you can try to start to understand your body for yourself. So how exactly do we figure out how much you need to be eating? As a skinny person that struggles gaining mass, this concept of saying, I'm not hungry right now is going to be something that haunts you, right? If you really are trying to double your caloric intake, you are going to think a lot, man, I'm not hungry. But you have to realize that the thought of I'm not hungry right now is not something that goes through the head of that huge guy that you are comparing yourself to or the, the big guy that you wish you could be or the dude that is even 40 pounds heavier than you. In his head, I'm not hungry isn't a thing. I'm not hungry right now is not a concept. You say, oh, I, I don't know. It's, two, it's been two hours since I ate. I'm, I'm not hungry yet. There's just no way I'm putting more food down. That point for the big guy is it's time to eat again. In your head, it's... I'm not hungry right now, and in his head, it's, it's time to eat again. There is a fantastic rule of thumb to live by as a skinny guy who is attempting to put on mass, and that is don't ever let yourself be hungry. You know that point where your stomach starts to growl? Don't ever get there. Just don't ever be hungry. So for me, it has been this concept of always having food on you or always having food ready. And it doesn't have to be as particular as you think it does. A lot of people get this concept of meal prep in their heads and they're like, oh, I need to eat. Perfect. You need to stop with that thought in every you know walk of life. Being perfect is never the goal. So you need to just make it achievable for yourself. But you need to always have food ready. Actually, I know this is funny because it's not super healthy, but I have this defrosting right now. Yeah, those things are 320 calories and I'm out, out at the river and I need to have food ready. So I'm defrosting an Uncrustable. The next thing is always in mind. You always have the next meal in mind and you always have the next meal on you. So personally, um, I'm not the guy that's prepping 10 meals at once or you know the next week out. I know there are people that do that. You're gonna go on Instagram and you're gonna see pictures of people prepping a week out. Six meals a day, chicken, broccoli, rice, right? And it's just every meal looks exactly the same and you're like, oh my gosh, how do these people do this? That's not what it needs to look like necessarily. What it needs to be is prepping enough for you to never not have food. So in my case, I work second shift. I work in the restaurant industry. Um, I, I don't go to work until three in the afternoon. So I have the beginning of my day to get my food ready, which is awesome. That's That works out really well for me as far as fitness goes. I don't know how, what your job schedule looks like, what your school schedule looks like. If you're in high school, you gotta be really thinking ahead. You gotta figure out how to eat while you're in class. You know, there, there's there's hurdles you're gonna have to figure out for yourself, but it doesn't need to be the week out food prep. What it needs to be is making sure that for that day or for the next 48 hours, you will never go without food. A concept you need to grasp, especially if you're going to be actually working out hard, is that for you to get fat, like, like any other person would get fat, you would need to eat twice or three times what they eat. And I know you probably already know that. So now calculate that you're working out you are burning far more calories, you're pushing yourself, hopefully you're doing your compound lifts, like I say, to be doing pillars of mass gaining. Check it out up there. If you're, if you're actually working out, you're burning far more calories. So now calculate maybe four or five times as much as the average person to get big, right? You really do need to have that concept of it really is just that much food that you need to be putting down. Um, my video that I did with my brother, James, he talked about that, where the first concept you need to understand is that you really do need to just put down that much volume. It can be hard to wrap your head around, but understanding that if you're gonna be working out, you know, you're putting yourself even farther behind the curve of people that would normally be able to put mass on. Now, the last point that I have written down here on my notes is that you need to eat like that on your days off too. When I was first starting out, it was 
heavy compound lifts, you know, three or four times a week, and there would be sometimes three days of rest in a week. And I think that's totally fine, especially as a skinnier guy. But on your days off, don't forget that you still need to be eating the same amount, or, or at least practicing those same concepts of always having the food ready and always being ready for the next thing to go into your mouth. You know, sometimes when you don't work out, you don't crave it as much. I noticed that still, you're number five or six of training. If I, if I don't focus on, say, heavy deadlifting, and I just completely take that out of my program, which I did for like the last two months, my desire to eat is far lower than it is when I start doing it again. And just last week, I started lifting heavy deadlifts again, and my appetite has absolutely exploded. So on your days off, you may not necessarily feel quite as hungry as you did the day that you were pushing it really hard in the gym, but you still need to practice those concepts of always having your next meal ready and always being ready to eat the next thing. I mentioned the Pillars of Mass Gaining playlist. Please go check that out. It's gonna give you some more concepts on the basics of putting mass on as a skinny guy. That last video also that I posted with James is gonna give you a super good understanding of what it looks like stepping your foot into the pool of putting mass on as a skinny guy. So I would highly suggest you go check that out. I appreciate all my new subscribers, everyone interacting with the video. It is super simple to interact with videos, by the way. All you gotta do is just click like. It is so simple. If you're on the video, it takes one little click. Really, really helps me and helps me push these videos out more. So um, I appreciate you all so much for your support and I hope to see you next Friday. I post every week.